I believe why we have so much crime in Trinidad is due to broken homes. And when you explain on that, like parents not having good relationships with their children or children being, how to say, being exposed to crimes or violence from the home at a young age, which can cause them or make them believe that that's the right example that the parents are setting. Peer pressure could um, also contribute to crime because sometimes a lot of the people who commit crime may know what is right and may not because of a friend who, you know, trying to convince them to do it with them. And I, I believe that peer pressure from a young age can have children doing things that they're not accustomed to what they know they're not right. I believe most schools should implement like talks weekly that would help with educating students who undergo peer pressure or, or traumatizing experiences on the home and help them to understand that peer pressure is something that they have to choose what is right or wrong and to help them understand that not every example that a parent may set is the best example. I think that we have such high level of crime in China and Tobago because of poverty. I feel that most crimes are related to stealing and you know killing and different stuff to get something that you don't have by legal means. And I feel that the environment that you're also based in provides that easier way to influence you to do bad things in your community or wherever you're living. And I believe that leads to crime in China and Tobago. As youths, we should be influenced more by not just people in our homes, but as a community and as a country because we are left out. Some people are left out with the right knowledge to you know, grow up and experience different things. So I believe when you educate students to do better and teach them good ways to get money, to help other people that it will influence everybody as a community. I think Trinidad has so much of crimes due to the lack of opportunities that children have in their communities. I think we can bring awareness in schools and in the community by hosting more events where, say, professionals in that space or in that field could talk to the children about the opportunities. I think we have a lot of crime in the country because a lack of discipline from homes. Children seem to act like they have no consequences for their actions. I think a lot of schools that these children come from and communities. They could try and be a little more militaristic with the children that might instill some discipline into them before they enter society. Um, I have to change me where I live because of crime because it's dangerous to be in certain areas past certain times and it feels unsafe to go outside when it's dark even in your own home. So I think that that can be a reason why I have to change my life. I believe there's so much crime in this country because there's a disconnect between our people in that some, some of the citizens are more educated than others. Therefore, those citizens who lack this education, they may not want to challenge themselves intellectually. They may just look for easy avenues in which to gain income. So this would make them resort to criminal activities. I believe that if there is a way that we could educate the less, less fortunate among us, that there will be a decrease in criminal activity because these people would understand what they are doing is morally wrong. If there are persons who may not be academically inclined, there are other avenues in which they can gain income. For instance, they may be more athletically inclined, so this can open up new avenues for them to gain income 
instead of resulti- resorting to criminal activities and also if they are not academically inclined um, they may want to reach out to educators and people that may be able to help them in this field but they may not be able to do that because of their situation in life their lifestyle Oh, <laughs>